We are going in three, two, one, go. Oh snap, four rounds. Get it, get it. Okay, so Andrew wrote this. As a way just to blow up Jacob. And I read it wrong. And he read it wrong, so he didn't even do it right. He had down a bunch of hand cleans before this. Like, hang, I worked up to a heavier hand clean for the day, which I'm not going to talk about that because it didn't. We should talk about that. We shouldn't talk about that. I failed, that. I failed 345 for a hand clean, and I was mad. No, I didn't even fail it. Did I you didn't even fail it. Did didn't you do what I do? Do you just, like, deadlift yeah. it up, and you're like, no. I, I didn't even get it past my knees. <laughs> I, I picked it up to, like, my knees, and I was like, this isn't happening, yeah, and I dropped usually, it. That's usually what happens. <laughs> I, usually, I usually get all amped up, deadlift it, and I'm like, no. God was just like, whoo! Get it, get it, let's go, let's do it. And then I walk up and I pick up the knees. I'm like, nah, bro, nah, no, I don't have this. Here. I gotta, I gotta get underneath this. Nah, that ain't happening, dude. I just kind of like dropped it and walked away and started this instead. So, uh, Saturday, this is Saturday night, right? This, this is, is like last night. night. So Saturday, Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my uh, goal for him today or for this workout was grip intensive and barbell cycling. So. I actually put in his notes he had to do every set of clean and jerk, not hang clean and jerk. Which is a power clean and jerk. Power clean and yep. jerk, okay. Uh, unbroken, so he couldn't break it. And it was only eight at 135, but uh, through four rounds and then a heavy jump rope and total bar in there, I figured by the third and fourth round it would get a little spicy. Oh. Bit spicy so, But he did do the hang, as you can see, where he gets a little bit of a bounce. Uh, well, and that takes off, I mean, yeah. that, that takes off at least like two seconds per uh, rep. Yeah. So 16 seconds per round. And it takes away from the low back, essentially. Like, he doesn't have to deadlift off the floor yeah. for eight reps. So that makes a difference. But he yeah. does still have to hang on to the bar. So that's that stimulus was still kept intact. You're using a scout rope, correct? Yep, yep. I use a scout rope. Did you break any double unders? I mean, did I Except fail? It? Yeah. I don't know. If I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail in this round. This is round two. Round two. You already look like, you know. I already look like close. a pile of dog right now. I know now. Jake's like, that wonders are starting to get hard because his eyes start to close and his jaw <laughs> starts moving around. <laughs> so, uh, toes of bar, I figured you would do unbroken too. I didn't, I didn't uh, have any problems with that. In fact, I wanted him to do that. And I actually had thought about making more reps to bait him to continue to do more unbroken this sets. Way. First round, 15. Second round, 20. 18. <laughs> Third round, 23. <laughs> that doesn't even Fourth make it easy. <laughs> so he actually, I did break. He did break, but it was a trip. So he did, uh, you did have an eight minute time cap. So you try to make something where I was, if I had to do clean jerks at 135 for this workout, I would not have made it. At least at the pace I'm going. Because like we said, Session two, one and a half, two seconds per rep, longer than hang clean and jerk. So that's 10 to 15 seconds per round right. times four puts me at 45 seconds. And as we'll see when I end, and you got to factor in the fact that it's for more work. Right. So I got Well, you're starting at 306. You need to be done by four in order to hang on. So actually, I think you'd be close. I think you would, if you had, if you had to do all touching your reps, if you finish this round by 330, you'd still be on pace. Which I think you will. Okay. Yeah, but the problem is, yes, I garnered 30 seconds between round one and two. Yeah. Woohoo, yeah, yeah. You will see Actually, it. More it than that, 33. Oh, wow. But you'll see it won't increase. Ex like, you've got to figure, okay, you probably gain 15 seconds of round one, 15 seconds of round two. I won't gain 15 seconds of round three. I think I died on double unders. As you can tell, my double unders started to look like, like I just learned how to do double unders yesterday. I mean, which I actually did. They don't look well now. They're wow. Bad. Okay. Now we're Come looking. on! <laughs> Pick up that rope! <laughs> Andrew's watching me laughing at you right now. Oh no. Did it just freeze? Uh, oh, oh there, we're back. Oh, I don't even freezing. know how many dubs he actually did now. Nobody knows. Actually, I didn't have anyone counting for me, so. If you count at home. D don't count at home. Count at home. One of the best comments I've seen in a while is I was actually watching Noah Olsen do a chipper, doing his chipper. And he did a similar concept, like a full a full workout. Oh, I broke twice now. Or that's maybe three times. I don't even know. And somebody commented. He was supposed to do like some odd numbers or wall balls or whatever. And somebody commented and put down his actual number. He was like one or two shy. It didn't even matter. It was, it was pretty dang close for counting by himself. And he put, he caveat. The guy commented and said, you only did such and such. It was like a couple less. I know that. Not because I have so much time on my hand, but because I'm watching you as I'm pooping on the toilet. <laughs> At least he's honest. He's just honest he's with honest, himself. Man, like, like, you can respect that. You know what I mean? You can respect the fact that that. that you just chill on that toilet, just yeah. watching Noah Olsen do wall balls. Yeah. Um, like, let's talk about uh, bar grip. Did you hook grip the entire time? 
Oh yeah, I have to. Okay. I just made sure to say you can. But there's so much jar, so much jarring nature. Like you have to jar it if, in your. If that was a C70 bar. Yeah, I can still bounce it. You would. One, one thirty-five. Uh, I'm saying if you had to clean jerk from the floor, would you hook grip? Because I know you suicide grip sometimes too when you do clean jerk stuff like that cycling. Yeah, because. Well, uh, uh, yeah, I would. Okay. Only because I'm trying to save my grip for the toes to bar. Sure. Like this is my toes to bar. Did you notice the grip going on toe to bar? No, okay. I noticed it going on my stupid double unders. Okay, that's where I was just like, I felt like a dead fish. So, so look, shoulders were good. See, the grip I, was bad. The timing, I didn't even yeah. like. I didn't gain any time. Sure. I lost time. Sure, sure. So shoulders were fine. Grip was the only thing, and we froze again. So this is his attempt to tell you that he actually did any double unders. He didn't do any double unders. <laughs> <laughs> do ninety, Jacob. Make him feel bad about himself. Uh, but again, it's another fast workout. Um, if you guys do do this, try it with the clean jerk and see how close you get. I think that'll be interesting. And a regular rope. rope. In a regular rope. You probably rope. don't yeah. own a wind rope. Yeah. Um, if you do, you probably own like... I actually put in his notes to duct tape weights onto that handle yet too to make them a little bit... Blood. There are actually different weight ropes out there. So this is an RPM scout rope. We're doing 80. If we did like a Kronos RX smart gear rope, 50. we'd probably do 50. Like that's a lot heavier. Yeah. Like it's not the same. If you're doing a regular double unders... Um, I gave this to John uh, to do, uh, and I think I told him to do. A, I told him it took me like forty-five seconds. I think near the end it took me a lot longer. Than yeah, that. I said like ninety to a hundred double unders, sure. like regular ropes. Sure, you can spin your scout rope almost as fast as your regular. Yeah, rope. I can, but the problem it's is like first round is yeah. great, second round you're like Ugh, third yeah. round you're like oh yeah. yeah, so that's where you get it a little bit. Um, so what are some, what are some good subs for total bar? Well, you can do the news elbow, I guess. I mean, if you have a yeah, if you have if you can't do total bar, you're gonna do kipping knee to elbow. You'll do some, you know, you can do some kipping leg raises, ab mat sit up, something like that. Where I don't really know if I like the ab mat sit up because of the the effect of the grip is gone. I would like you guys to rather concept. yeah, it's not like the same concept. Like getting on a pull up rig would obviously be the best option for you because you have to hang on to something. Sure. That's usually the best thing to do. So I'm um, so good doing this right now. See, I'm not even like leaning right. forward. I'm just like leaning back. And obviously you just scale back the weight then, right? So like if you can't, guys, if you can't hit, well, the ladies weight with this would be 95 pounds. So uh, for you ladies out there, obviously that would be the, the scale there. Um, yeah, you definitely wouldn't have made it. That's all right though. Yeah, I wouldn't have made it. It would have been close though. Yeah, so, so close. Scale, scale, scale the weight back, right? Uh, 115, maybe even 95 if you if you need to because of the grip. Like I said, the first two rounds, you probably will be like, Andrew, this isn't really, yeah. No, the first the first round and a half wasn't bad. Yeah. Now I didn't do full clean right. jerks. But the last two rounds would have been rough. I mean, you could tell my double unders. Sure. Like if I had to do my third, fourth round double unders, I look like a small child. Sure, sure. And it's kind of an open S type workout as far as not like super cons like really hard movements like it's simple toe bar, simple yep. power clean and jerks, and simple dumbbell layers. Like that's a lot of workouts that you see. Easy. The open likes to mix and match things that really compound on each other. So I think that's, that's know, in this case same thing. So easy commentary. Yeah. How do you like my little round counter though? I love that. Oh, it looks so it's so I clean. It is pretty. It is pretty sharp. It's so clean. It is pretty sharp. And then I've got these like cool little. Where is it at? These cool little like. Oh, Ooh. Instagram! Look at that. And this that handle. This has Midwest made on it. And it like turns and stuff. It expands. That's pretty sharp. Thank you, Omar. Uh, what's our next background? I saw the guy. Uh, what's his name that they made the? Uh, Steve, Steve. Well, Steve, Stephen did. Steve. I have to download it. Did he make Facebook. another one for us? Well, he didn't do the Thanos one, or he didn't upload it right because I couldn't find it. But he did one of us sitting inside the Millennium Falcon. That's did you see that legit. one? I haven't seen that one yet. He That's tagged me in it. Let's go find it. That's pretty legit. We uh, we appreciate and, and dig <laughs> the dig backgrounds, the, back, the backgrounds, and I know you guys do too at home. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Till next time. Till tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing. Tomorrow I think we're going to redo some of the Mac ones. Yeah. I'm doing the wall the wall ball rowing. You're going to do the other one. Yep. And then we're back to normal. Jake's probably going to redo both of them twice because that's just what he does. Joe Floyd. Yeah. Yeah, he probably needs to. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys later.